the TVSX, TVS's first sporty electric scooter. It carries a hefty price tag, it carries a fair few techie features and it looks properly futuristic. So if you're wondering what is the performance like, how's it in the real world and should you buy one? Well, we can't answer all of those questions just as yet because we've got a very brief taste of what this scooter is like. In fact, we just got two laps of this TVSX around the TVS test track. So here's what we liked and wish was better on this electric scooter. Now the X is packing a mid-mounted motor and not a hub motor like the iCube S. And in fact, it is very different from the iCube. The claimed acceleration times as well as the top speed are far, far higher than the iCube though. But when you compare it to other electric offerings in the country, it doesn't feel very impressive. Top speed of just 105 kmph. And that sort of also translates when we took it out on the test track because only in sonic mode does it feel somewhat exciting. In the other two modes, it was very dialed down, it was very dumbed down. So the initial throttle response wasn't as crisp. However, we'll reserve our judgments for how is it to live with in the real world. But as things stand, Sonic should have been a little more supersonic. Given its unique build, there is no floor space to hold your knickknacks. And even the under seat area is just 19 liters. So in case you're going to carry the charger on the go, you will have to limit your grocery shopping to a great extent. Practicality is a core essence for a scooter in India, but the X clearly has some different priorities. At two and a half lakh rupees, the X is certainly a pricey electric scooter and it gets no fame to subsidies as well. It might be built on a new aluminum twin spar frame, cast aluminum subframe and have loads of futuristic cool tech on board. But when you take a look at the motor and battery specs, they are honestly nowhere near class leading. In fact, the Ola S1 Pro Gen 2, which has nearly the same motor and battery capacity, plus a lot more convenience on offer, is nearly a lakh cheaper. And if you want something that screams sporty, the Aether 450X with its more consistently thrilling performance package makes more sense at almost 75,000 rupees less. So, considering the performance it is packing, justifying the extra moolah for the X seems very difficult. What puts a smile on your face is just how rock solid it felt around the long parabola at the TVS test track. It was unwavering and razor sharp. TVS Racing Lady Edge clearly shows its face here. You're put in a nice sporty stance that allows you to carry good lean angles and thanks to the unique frame, you can straddle the X as you would a motorcycle. This brakes at both ends with grippy rubber leads to phenomenal stopping power. Yes, you will have to be a bit gentle with the rear end as it tends to step out under hard braking. There's single channel ABS here to help your case, but if TVS could also manage to add CBS, it would be a charm. You are greeted by the sight of a lovely, large and crisp color touchscreen TFT dash, which can be tilt adjusted by up to 35 degrees. It has all the necessary data you would want on the ride, plus the usual smattering of connected tech. What makes it one of the better experiences is just how nicely everything is laid out and the customizability of the entire home screen. So that's the story of the TVS X. It does come off as a very impressive handling tool, but in order to harness all of that handling potential that the new chassis and the suspension and everything packs, the electric propulsion needs to step up. Whether TVS does that or not, we'll come to see. And how is it to live in the real world? We'll find that out once we get this bike for a thorough road test. These are in fact pre-production units. What would you like for us to cover in that video? Do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification icon.